Lots of stuff planned for this video, so hold on to your hats. We've got a lot to talk about. We're gonna be doing life cycles, life cycles of the honeybee, the butterfly, and of course the frog. So if you're looking for some great activities you can do with your kids, you're gonna love this video. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. How are you guys doing? We are talking about life cycles today. And I haven't done a video on life cycles yet, although I have done a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit in some Montessori three-part card videos. So this is kind of an extension of that, but we'll get more into that later. If you haven't already, I would love it if you were to subscribe. And if you're a new subscriber, say hello down in the comments. I'll definitely write you back. I love hearing from new subscribers and who's here. If you're not new, you can leave me a comment too. Tell me how you're doing today. So if you click subscribe, you're gonna see a lot of education activities for kids and ideas and inspiration so that you can learn through play. I try to keep everything pretty much on the budget friendly side or even using things that you have around the house. So you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe so you don't miss out on all of those ideas. I'm really stoked for today's video because Safari LTD sent me these life cycle kits and I think these are the most amazing ones ever. And so since they sent me this box to take a look at and review, I thought I'd put together some activities surrounding these so that you can do these at home. You don't necessarily need to have these, but if you are interested, I'm gonna put some links down below so you can go check them out. They are great. They're perfect to have. They look lifelike. We're gonna get more into this later. Let's get started. So we have three life cycle kits to look at today. We have the life cycle of the frog, life cycle of the butterfly, and of the honeybee. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of different activities that can be interchanged through any of these sets. So just kind of keep your eye open for the ones that you like, and you can use them with any set that you choose. We're gonna start off first with the frog set. I'm very excited about these because the quality on these are amazing and the detail too is just perfect. And the reason why these are fun to use when learning because the kids just love them. They like holding on to them. They like looking at them, examining them, checking them out and that they look so realistic. It just helps in the learning process. Okay, so I have all my pieces here. We have our eggs, we have a tadpole, we have a tadpole without gills, and we have tadpole with legs, and we have the adult frog. The first activity I have involves life cycle wheels. This is actually a set that I bought from a different store, and inside there you have a life cycle wheels for various different things. There's even one here for the frog itself, and you just spin it around to see the pictures that match the different parts of the life cycle. But you don't have to have this. I actually found a free print online. I'm going to link back all the resources that I mentioned in this video, especially the free printables down below in the description box. So you can go straight to it and print it out and have it. So this is what it comes with. There's a top wheel here and then there's this bottom wheel and all you need to do is cut this out to create your own life cycle. There's also a sheet here that's a fun cut and paste that I really like too. I love cut and paste stuff. So this is another way to do the life cycle by cutting and pasting. But I'm going to just show you this one really quick. I have to excuse my poor cutting job. And then on the top one, here you just cut out the little chunk of the circle. You can have the kids color these. There's also a colored sheet that comes with the set. So if you want to do the colored, you can do the colored, but this just lays right on top. And then you take a brad, which is a little metal piece like this and stick it in the middle to hold the two pieces together. And if you want these to last a little bit longer, you of course can go ahead and laminate them. They'll be a lot sturdier that way. But once you have the brad in, then you can turn the life cycle to see the different stages. So what you can do now is when you're talking about the different stages, you can also use the models alongside with them as you go through the whole life cycle wheel. I also wanted to show you a selection of different books that I found that talk about the life cycle of all these animals. Once again, I'm gonna put these in my Amazon store so you can go directly to them and find these books. Um, this one is an easy reader. It's from Tadpole to Frog, and it says it's a level one in the science category, but I think it's probably a little bit more advanced than an early, early reader. However, I do I do really like all the pictures. It goes through more in a little bit of a storybook fashion about the life cycles of frogs. And you can also read through this and as you read through it, you can pull over the models from the Safari LTD kits and you can use them as something to hold as you're reading or the kids to look at as you're reading. And it just goes side by side as you go through the book and through all the different cycles. So this one's a really great picture book. It has lots of visuals and examples along with the story. This next one, I'm gonna suggest using a composition notebook that's very similar to this one. Sometimes the dollar store carries these. If not, I've seen them at Office Depot 
also on Amazon. I'll try to put these in my store too if you like these kinds of composition books. But they're really great because they have the space at top to draw a picture and then they have this blank space down here at the bottom. And so what you can do is, depending on the level of your child, is that you can have them do a drawing of each one of these life cycles on a different page and copy exactly how they think this looks. And then down here you can have them write out this life cycle stage. Um, you could put eggs or if they're more advanced they can write a sentence about what it is or they could write a sentence describing how it looks by examining the piece. And then they can do this for every single life cycle. So it really depends on the age of the child and what they can do. Maybe some can just draw a picture. Maybe some can trace it. Maybe some can just write the name. It just kind of depends. And then each page they can do a different one. And then for the last activity for frogs, you can do some modeling of the dough to imitate what they see when they do each life stage. So if I was doing the eggs again, I mean the tadpoles would be kind of easy, huh? <laughs> Maybe I was gonna make little balls and pile them all up and then to do, to do a little clay or dough model. And you can get different colors. You can get some colors to match the Safari LTD kits as well. And there are my little eggs. All right, let's move on to the butterfly kit. Over on Instagram, I asked you guys what was your favorite, favorite one that I showed you out of these three sets. And then I asked you what my favorite was, and a lot of you guessed it. My favorite was the butterflies. You guys know me so well. Here are the eggs. We have a caterpillar. Here's the adult monarch and the chrysalis. All right, I said I was gonna show you a couple books for each one of these sets, because I think these are great resources to use in conjunction with the kits as well. So I have two different ones. This one's called My Oh My a Butterfly. It's a Dr. Seuss book, and I had no idea that these existed. This is really, really cool. It's a whole Dr. Seuss kind of style book, but it does go through the whole life cycle of a butterfly, plus some additional information. Right here, you can see they talk about the life cycle, but then they go on and talk about what the butterflies do, the parts of the butterflies. Um, how they migrate different types of butterflies, and it's just really cute and clever. So I really like this one. But I also found this other one that's probably best suited for the younger children. It has flaps that you can turn over. So this one's called How Does a Butterfly Grow? And inside it goes, it's the same thing that the Dr. Seuss book covers, but this one has a little bit more of an interactive aspect and where you can lift up the flaps throughout the book. And my kids still love the flap books. And I like that this isn't too juvenile, that there's a lot of information still in here. So even a little bit of an older child, maybe your six, seven, eight year old would still enjoy reading about butterflies, even though it has all the flaps. In. And then we have a little bit of the life cycle. And then here at the very end, I believe, here we go. Here's the whole life cycle of the butterfly here as well. Either one of these books would be perfect for talking about butterflies. I couldn't pick just one, so I had to get both. Next, I wanted to point out that you could really use the Montessori three-part cards very well for this kind of activity. I have a tray here with some examples. I'm not gonna go through exactly how to use three-part cards because I have an entire video on how to do that. I'm gonna link it back over here in the I card in that corner, if I remember, and then you can click on that to learn how to use the Montessori three-part cards. They're quite fabulous. Uh, you can start off as early as three, around three for the three-part cards. And basically what you have are very, very realistic pictures of the life cycle. So um, they're in two forms here. I have them here with the words on them already, as you can see. And then I have them here without the words. And then I have the words here to match up. So with the Montessori three-part cards, I would probably present a tray very similar to this. And if this was new, I would use these and you can set them out and just do a simple match. And this is great because they really match the objects from the Safari LTD kits. And so it's a very easy match to the card. Once again, this is a free printable that I found online. I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna print out your own Montessori cards. What I did do is I laminated them all. Um, I don't do a lot of lamination, so sometimes you guys ask me what I use for a laminator. I use these Scotch self-seal laminating pouches, and there's only a couple in here. What does it say? There's 10 pouches in here, so it goes pretty far. You'd be able to laminate the whole three-part card set if you wanted to. If you're not doing a lot of laminating, I would suggest something just like this. It's a very thick, lamination they're very sturdy I've had this kind of lamination for a long time you can get the bigger laminators if you're gonna be doing a lot of lamination but I'm gonna put this one in my Amazon store just in case you're interested because I really do like this brand I did buy these at Walmart if you wanted to pick them up in the store but they work really really well all right so this is how you would line up all of your objects to the cards and then if you watch that three-part card video you'll understand how to work all the other ones basically you're learning the names these cards can also really work well for sequencing and so you can make sure that 
that you're putting them in the correct order and the right order of the life cycle. So that's another activity you can do is sequencing with the cards and with the objects themselves. Or you can even just do that just with the objects. I wanted to point out that this kit also had cards for older kids. So once you've mastered these three part cards and you know the names, you know the order, you can add on this other set that actually talks about the stages. There's a sentence for each one. So I'll just put these out here so they can actually learn a little bit more about each stage of the butterfly. So this is more of the reading age and they can match up that way. And then these work the same as three part cards too. There's a set that just has the explanation with the label. You guys probably already know this, but if you haven't tried the butterfly growing kits and net sets, they are fabulous. There's a couple here that I'm showing you that I found on Amazon. You can try any of them, but I've definitely seen these in action. It's a great way to see the whole process and life cycle of a butterfly at home. And it makes it very, very real. So I highly recommend checking out those kits. I'm gonna put a couple of those in the store too. Moving on to our honeybees. In our honeybee set, we have our egg. Here is our larva, our pupa, and our adult. The book I picked out for this one is The Magic School Bus. Really, really, really like this one. If you have read any of the Magic School Bus books, you definitely know that these are chocked full of information. I like the way it's laid out. There's lots of facts, there's lots of details, and there's a story involved as well. And it does go over the life cycle, plus so, so, so much more. Lots of information in this. It's a really, really great book. In fact, I think I wanna get a couple more of these and the other life cycle groups. And also, if you guys have suggestions on life cycle books that you just absolutely love, make sure to share them down below in the comments because I know a lot of you guys are reading the comments for other ideas and other suggestions. So if you have some that you just think are amazing, let me know because I might want to check them out too. This one's an interesting one. I actually showed this in one of my very first Etsy videos quite a while ago. It is a honeybee felt kit. I'm not 100% sure that these still exist or are being made, but I wanted to show you so you can get inspired that maybe you wanted to create your own and maybe you wanted to get some felt and cut out some pieces. Maybe you wanted to use some construction paper, but just to give you a different idea on how to make this really a hands-on life cycle system. So in here are all these little sewn body parts that go to the honeybee. And on the back, they match up. And then we have a control card here to know where the pieces go. So they just would lay directly on the felt board. So you can do this with construction paper. You can make it out of your own felt. You don't have to be as detailed as this, but it's just a really fun way to have a hands-on activity and placing all the parts of the honeybee. And then you can use your Safari LTD pieces to look in more detail as you're doing it for each piece. So you have your kind of 3D model and then you have your flat 2D model. Next, I'm gonna bring back kind of the three-part card concept. This is a free printable. Again, I love the free printable, so I'll definitely hook you up with that link. But they have the, the matching, everything that I've showed you before. And then we have the stages here. And then you can do the match with the objects. And then you can do the sequencing, which comes first, which comes last. I wasn't too far off. So definitely try doing some sequencing and when it's just the four stages, it's pretty easy to grasp the concept. And, and the reason why I put this in this set is because I wanted to show you, you can do some other things with the vocabulary on this. So once you have them all matched up, you can do some magnetic letter matching. Spell out the words for the vocabulary. I have a magnetic letter set here that I used and put together uh, by using the magnetic letters from the Target Dollar section. There are tons and tons of letter sets out there. I definitely like the ones that are all lowercase and then they have the two colors for the vowels and consonants. This was just a budget friendly way to do it, but they're all magnetic letters. And so we can pull out all the letters to match up with our vocabulary. And then of course use our objects to go along with it. Something like this. And I'd probably use a bigger dry erase board. And I also wanted to point out that this printable set also has a kind of a control card here that shows the order of the life cycle. So when you are doing sequencing, you can match it against this to get make sure that you have the right answer. Tell me which life cycle you think you're going to explore with your kids. And if you're gonna try the Safari LTD life cycle kits, these are pretty awesome, I must say. Then click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.